The State of Israel is singularly aware of why the Genocide Convention, which has been invoked in these proceedings, was adopted. Seared in our collective memory is the systematic murder of six million Jews. The entirety of its case hinges on a deliberately curated, decontextualized, and manipulative description of the reality of current hostilities. We are compelled to share with the court some fraction of its horror. The largest calculated mass murder of Jews in a single day since the Holocaust. A survivor of the Nova Music Festival massacre testified to police to witnessing a Hamas militant brutally raping a young woman. South Africa has long hosted and celebrated its ties with Hamas figures. The court is told of widespread damage to buildings, but it is not told, for example, how many thousands of those buildings were destroyed because they were booby-trapped by Hamas, how many became legitimate targets because of the strategy of using civilian objects and protected sites for military purposes. The applicant is essentially asking the court to substitute the lens of armed conflict between a state and a lawless terrorist organization with the lens of a so-called genocide of a state against a civilian population. But it is not offering the court a lens. It is offering it a blindfold. As the Prime Minister reiterated yet, yet again this week, Israel is fighting Hamas terrorists, not the civilian population. It is respectfully submitted that the application and request should be dismissed for what they are, a libel. As well as its practice of mitigating civilian harm, such as by forewarning civilians of impending action by the unprecedented and extensive use of telephone calls, leafleting and so forth, coupled with the facilitation of humanitarian assistance all demonstrate the precise opposite of any possible genocidal intent. Remarks or actions of a soldier do not and cannot reflect policy. The court was prepared to consider not only the question, question of the plausibility of rights, Some has shuffled my papers. The truth is that if there has been any genocidal activity in this situation, it was the events of 7th of October 